former Soviet Union members of the family, uh, they lost more people in, uh, in the Soviet Union in the history of the world in World War II. All right, so now what they've been deeply ingrained in them from the Soviet Union of fighting for your rights and fighting for the inalienable rights of uh, God-given rights, they still participated in, and he underestimated that. He felt that if, uh, if Joe Biden could leave uh, uh, Afghanistan and keep his date to leave Afghanistan with 13 people getting killed a week or so before, uh, he left Afghanistan and he didn't get no demands, no changes at all because he's so hopped up in, with hatred for, for Donald Trump. All right, but Donald Trump's hatred into to Joe Biden caused people thousands of lives uh, to be lost. But uh, nevertheless, uh, he did. He lied and he threw the women under the bus and going back to Taliban law. And then the Taliban, and then the Afghanistan government surrendered within 11 days. Now, that being done, uh, Putin figured that he would get them to surrender because he was much more powerful than, than the Taliban and that, that, uh, that the Afghanistan, uh, forgetting that he was trained and conditioned with the Soviet Union fighting for the same thing against Adolf Hitler, and he declared uh, his vanity was hurt, his feelings were hurt, his ego was hurt, so therefore he decided he would invade to punish uh, this guy, Zelensky. And Zelensky stood up, you know, freedom, peace, or death. You know, remind us of all, a guy named Patrick Kinder, give me liberty or give me death. You know what I mean? And so this is something that I, I have to be a part of because problems is what we have. And when I look at uh, Adrian and I look at myself and then I look at anyone of color, they got a problem. Because you got, you know, an agent here of ideology of uh, white supremacy uh, that has been demonstrated in slavery where you take away all the rights, but they made the one flaw and that flaw is to put the white woman in an inferior capacity when she gives birth to them uh, to be able to lead. So if she's inferior, they got to be inferior. But they never thought they would be challenged. And so with the white woman, she's left out. And what it is, so problems has been our life. You know, we got a problem whether we want it or not. You know, you got a problem. So therefore, I deal with what is real from those cosmic words. We hold this truth to be self-evident that all men are created equal, you know, endowed by the creator with certain inalienable rights, among which these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We're going to deal with that. And so that's going to be foremost uh, in the forefront of the battle that we're fighting, dedicating this to June, June the 9th, uh, to the, the, the victory for the Ukrainians, because if it don't, it's going to end up being a third, uh, uh, a third war, world war, but it'll be under nuclear circumstances which means the whole world is at risk, is at stake. And so this, this card means a lot to me and to, to all of the people that they don't realize, whether they know it or not. Uh, you know, it's going to be a great card, you know what I mean, of good problems. And the minor problems that we have with a uh, uh, with, uh, uh, problem child here, you know, which upset Kevin tremendously because you know, he's like, he ain't used to this type of shit. So this will, you know, uh, so this is really, so it's really something that there, but this is nothing. This is really a minor, you know what I mean, to what we got to confront and, and deal with, you know, as a, as, a, as, a, as a nation, as a people, and to be able to love each other and to be able to respect each other. And this is what Trump was doing in bringing up close and personal, no matter what, he's a problem too. Yeah, and that's what he is, but he's his own problem. He's the biggest problem himself because what he's doing is he's bringing them all out. They're coming out of the woodwork. He's calling them out, identifying them, and, and saying that it's got to be changed. We want to create a whole new system. You know, we want to take this system apart. You know, I want to make America great again. America first. And this is the, that was a condemnation uh, to uh, the credibility of white supremacy because everybody says Trump is a white supremacist. Well, what, but if he was, you know, and his daddy was a, caught at a white supremacy meeting of Fred, but if he was, 
they would have everything they want, but they hate Trump with a passion because he say, I'm going to create a whole new system. We, not I, we. And we're going to take this system apart. So what we're going to do is to try to spotlight that in our fight, you know what I mean, in between the combination of, uh, of uh, Adrian and myself and, and Kevin, uh, we're going to create, we're going to return. We ain't got to create. We're going to return to glory. And in return to glory is giving the people what they want. And this is what we are and this is what we're going to be. And we look forward to it with great enthusiasm and great anticipation. So we want everyone to be there for whatever the reason they may find. Freedom, liberty, justice, equality. That's what we're fighting for. And so when you go out there to see it, you can, you can, you can mesmerize yourself. Or when you look at the mirror, you can hypnotize yourself and you can see yourself being a gladiator and a fighter for this great nation called America and for the world at large when we're going out there and deal and deal with what is real. You know what I mean? So we're here. So anything you're going to want, you need to know, we're going to do. We've got other title fights on the card, but we, but we'll dedicate this, this one to, to my problem right here. You know what I mean? And so now I'm, I'm happy to hear him apologize. Uh, for what he did for not showing, but he had a reason, you know what I mean, that they didn't do it. And so, hey, but he said, you know, they're crying, you know, silk, you know, and crying, you know, or poor, or what you say, uh, uh, you know, being poor mouth about it. He ain't discussed that with you all, but the guy is, uh, he's, he's there and he's here now to have a special event uh, where you can get any questions that you can give to your uh, reading constituency so that they will be able to understand what time it is. So let's 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 roll. Any questions, guys? Okay. Uh, Don just mentioned <clears throat> a few minutes ago that this is the first time you've been together in business. Why are you here with Don King? What does it mean for you to be associated with Don King? Uh, honestly, you know. Um, Ever since I was a kid, I had this dream. It's crazy, but but I had this dream. Ever since I was about nine years old, it, it was a dream. And and you know, you remember when the, when the fights came on on HBO? You re it was it wasn't clear. All you seen was a lot of colors. When it first came on, all you seen was a lot of colors. And then you'll see Don and Ring. And I always had that that dream. So I knew one day we'll get to work. I just never knew when when it w would be, and now, now it, it came and, and it's here. So, you know, uh, this is, this is life changing to me. You know, it mean a lot to me. And um, I, want, I want to make the best of it. I want to be one of, his, one of his last champions. You said that you have uh, big goals for yourself, big standards. How can you think to achieve this, in this moment in your state, in your career, in this moment in your career? Um, if if anybody ever knew me, man, you know I I, I never dr I never dream small, you know I don't, you know I always dream big, you know and 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 I and I personally know what I can do and and what I can bring to the table, and you know with a team that I got around me, you know as as my coach as coach Cunningham and then now I got Don back I and mean, you know uh, it's honestly to, to to be brutally honest it's really unstoppable. And you know, uh, everybody gonna see that. I got some questions from outside in the world that's watching. Um, you've you've lost a bunch of opponents recently. Like, is that frustrating to you? Nah, 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 nah. Uh, it's not frustrating. Um, I know. Uh, you know, um, I've been training for a sh for a shit long time, but but it comes with the journey. You know, I, I told myself, I looked myself in the mirror, and I said, whatever it takes. And, you know, you know, God give us strongest soldiers, you know. Biggest task. So, you know, uh, it, it really don't matter. You know, um, the task is still the same, and the goal is still the same. So, I'm fine. This is from Claudia in Miami, Telemundo Deportes. Uh, how do you, what do you think about the ring rust? you think that's going to affect you at all? It's been a while. Um, I'll be cool. You know, uh, I've been, like I said, I've, I've been training. And, you know, um, 
Once that bell rings, you know, it's, it's time to go to work. I'm going to do whatever I got to do to get that victory. And, you know, uh, we deal with everything else after that. Speaking of the bell, you think you have to finish the fight before the final bell? <laughs> I mean, you know, um, however, however it comes. You know, I don't go in the fight looking for knockouts. You know, I just go in the fight. I just go in the fight knowing that I'm sharp. And, you know, uh, I get the job done. If the knockout presents itself, you know I'm taking it. <laughs> How about we're looking at maybe future opponents. What do you think about fighting Tank at 140? Man, right now, my main, my main objective and, and my main goal is the is the, is to go in here and, and destroy Hutchinson. I ain't worrying about this fight or that fight or what fight can be. I'm worrying about what's in front of me, and um, that's all I'm worrying about right now. This is uh, from Keith Eidek at Boxing Scene. Uh, as your 34th birthday approaches, do you feel like you're running out of time to accomplish what you want to accomplish? Um, no. You know, uh, um, I, I got a lot of time. You know, um, you know, I don't have as much time as I had when I was younger, but, you know, I still have enough time to do what I want to do in the sport. And, you know, uh, with my team, with uh, Coach Kevin Cunningham, well, Uncle Kevin and me, and, you know, uh, my granddaddy Don, <laughs> we could do whatever we want, you know. But, you know, um, I was always taught you can lead a horse to water, you can't make it drink. So, you know, it's really a, how far I want to go because um, cause, cause Uncle Kev going to make sure I'm, I'm straight and I'm going to put the work in and, and Don going to put me where I need to be. It's really up to me to go in there and get them victories. Okay, uh, Don A. Corby of the Daily Mail in the UK, this is for Don. What was it about Adrian at this point that drew him to the signing? Well, what, what, what it is is that I had, you know, I have a lawyer down in uh, in uh, Cincinnati. He's calling me right now. <laughs> Can't talk to you. Uh, I have a, I have a, a Cincinnati that was always telling me about him, but uh, Adrian Broner, but I never had an opportunity to be able to deal with him because my plate was so full <clears throat> dealing with other problems that we have. So it's a delight for me. I welcome him with, uh, with open arms, as you can see. Everybody say, don't get involved with him. He's a, he's a, you know, he's a this, he's a that, you know what I mean? And so the more they said that, you know what I mean, the more I wanted to be involved because if it ain't a problem, you got to acknowledge that you got a problem. You can't solve a problem if it's not a problem. All right, so, and so I felt that it, uh, 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 I was being very, you know, lackadaisical, so to speak, and putting on fights here and there because I didn't have to prove nothing to nobody, all right? But then I said, well, let me get this man here and so I can prove, you know what I mean, that being a troubleshooter is what it's really all about and dealing with people that are real. And so I was happy to have him there, and that's why I gave him a table full of money, you know what I mean, so that, uh, that he didn't know that it's for real, you know what I mean, M-O-N-E-Y. You know what I mean? So, so, so they can't get around that, you know? And so uh, uh, that's, they call him we a match for him now. They're trying to get a, get a match for him. They're watching he, on TV and they want to know if you're going to answer your phone. Yeah, so I'm happy to have I'm happy to have this problem. And I know I'm a problem for all the other promoters that's, that's out there because they're always looking for excuses to find some kind of way to justify why they can't do what they could have done and what they should have done and all of these different things there. I don't deal with that. I welcome the more bigger the problem, the bigger the event. You know what I mean? And so, therefore, I'm uh, the problem promoter to the promoters, and he's a problem uh, to everybody that's out there. But the most important thing is he's a problem to the fighters, the opponents. They know who he is, you know what I mean, when they get in that ring with him. And he just uh, justified that and said the smartest thing I heard him say was forget about all those would be, could be, should be opponents you know his opponent is to get this guy named Hutchinson you know what I mean that's the way when you're single-minded you can deal with that thing but when you're trying to fight five six opponents at one time 
you don't it don't work you know what i mean so you got to be acclimated and you have your mind together to make things happen and this is why i like fighters you know like people that will fight for other people and fight for their own character and that's why i love donald trump because he fights for a guy himself. He fights for the people. You know what I mean? And they can't get around it no matter how they look at it and they can't justify it. But hatred, hatred is a, is a, is a, is a, is a disease. And they really hate him so much because he's independent. He can't be bribed, he can't be bought, he can't be intimidated, and he can't be coerced to sell us out. He gonna stand his ground and he gonna counter punch. And that's what you got here with the with Adrian on a different level and a different and, and categorizing the sport, he gonna stand his ground. And when you hit him, he gonna hit you back. And then he gonna hit you when you can't hit him back. So that's what we are bringing here to you all on June the ninth. And I look forward to seeing everybody on this uh, the, be be there for this fight. Don, I believe you're 91, um, and. You've obviously made a pretty fair amount of money over the years. Why are you still doing this? Why are you still promoting? Why are you still going through the problems that you have to go through to use your word problems? Why are you still doing promoting? Uh, I'm promoting uh, for the love of the people. I'm a promoter of the people, by the people, and for the people. And my magic lies in my people's ties. I fight for freedom, liberty, justice which all my ancestors were denied of. And so rather than to go out and get on a soapbox and say, uh, this is wrong, that is wrong, yes, that in according to being wrong, you got to do something about it. What are we gonna do about it? And that's why the politicians come in with their lying asses and don't be able to function and do what they should do something about it because it affects all of us from each level of of what it is from the middle class to this one and the put your different classes in economically. You know, but when they put uh, they put the color and the color says, you know, that you are to be uh, be scared of and they when they were scared of people the white people in the north, uh, and saying, What if the blacks take over when they know it's impossible for the blacks to take over? That's the most ridiculous thing you ever seen. We got the army, the marines, they got the, everybody the, 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 the power. They, the whites have to do whatever they got to do to put the ideolo ideology of white supremacy. And they're going to say a few blacks, like a million or two million, ten million, is going to be able to take over. That's ridiculous. But that's what they would try to use as a method of propaganda. So I'm still here fighting until the Lord calls me and tells me he wants me to come home. Because I don't have seven, I mean, I got the house got bombed, I got shot, I got stabbed. I done been, uh, uh, that's why I never get too big or, uh, for any bag lady or any, any bum, anybody that's on the street because they have saved my life. Don't go down the street. They'd be with their baggings and things and they would whisper to me, they're staking out over here, they're gonna get you. You know, and they would pull these things, those things I got to, they call for reciprocity. You know what I mean? So to be able to help those you know, who are, would be the forgotten people, and i never forget them. And that's another reason why I stand up for Donald Trump, because he wanted to go for the people, he, the forgotten people. They would not be forgotten anymore. And then when they, then he did display, even with the black, what they would say he would be against, they did better under his regime than they did under anybody else's regime, and especially with, with uh, Joe Biden, who was using blackness, as a category to be able to catapult himself in there. I'm gonna put the black this, I'm gonna point the black that. He knows how to play that black mentality thing and the blacks just get a vote away without any type of uh, 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 compensation. And so they vote because he plays the con game on them and uh, uh, on, on these type of things here. So when you ask me why do I continue, I continue to the Lord uh, it brings me home because I had eight, nine, ten lives, you know what I mean, that they done, they done, they done tried to get, get to me, you know what I mean, so I beat the cat and all the rest of them. So, you know, so all I can tell you is that when I get up in the morning and when I go, you know, it's, uh, the Lord says, you know, where is that? It's roll away the stone, you know what I mean? And so Lazarus is in there somewhere. Roll away the stone, Lazarus come forth. So I've just been coming forth and I'm going to continue to be there fighting for the benefit of the people, an American people are the greatest people in the world, 
and I love them in spite of what the idiosyncrasies and shortcomings may be, those cosmic words that they founded this nation upon, those words, you know what I mean, we hold these truths to be self-evident, you know what I mean, that all men are created and endowed by the Creator, you know what I mean, you, a new nation under God conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. I can't do no otherwise, and I, nothing would make me feel better than to see in the, in, the, in, the, in the Palm Beach Post, you know what I mean, to see them words that reprinted again, you know what I mean, where I was out there in, uh, uh, in, in that area where I had my Statue of Liberty out there in the backyard on the ocean, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's so, so it's there, and I got my Statue of Liberty on right here that day, you know what I mean? No matter how much the glitter and the glatter, you know what I mean? Nothing is more important than a human life. And this is what they said at Nuremberg. At Nuremberg, we want you to take note, you know, that at this we, we want freedom and liberty, and nothing is more important than one single human being, life. So that's why I'm here. I'm here to continue to fight, but when you need the gas in the, in the engine, when you need the energy to get it, you couldn't find a better energy, energy, energy giver uh, than uh, the problem here, you know, because he is profusely with the problem, and he, and he grows by geometric progression. You know, one and one ain't, is, is not one and one is left. One, two and two is 22, you know what I mean? It ain't four, you know what I mean? So, so <laughs> therefore, he comes up with that <laughs> geometric progression that would inspire me to come again to be able to help those who are the less fortunate, those who are the downtrodden and denied, and that we got to work together to bring ourselves up, you know what I mean? But at least we can discuss it. But when you discuss it, what are we going to do about it? And that's what I keep claiming to the politicians. What are you going to do? You can talk all this in, they can stall like we're about ready to so-called, what they call that thing, our debt service or something. We about ready to blow this in, ain't gonna pay our debt. You know what I mean? All of that type of stuff that they're playing around with all of our lives, and we send them there when they're on the street, on the post, standing up and screaming and hollering, we want justice. When do you want it? We want it now. We want freedom. When do you want it? We want it now. You know, they do all these things, and so boy, we say, oh, this is good. So we take him, and then we elect him, and then he goes to Washington. And he becomes a part of the problem that you send him there to solve. You know, they get him a gray flannel suit, you know, and you get him in a gray flannel suit, you know what I mean, and put a little envelope <laughs> in his hand, you know what I mean, and he forget all about that, that, that he's there to fight for freedom, justice, and equality. You know I mean, he got to fight for a standard bearer. Nowhere in the Constitution do it say, we the party. Nowhere in the Bill of Rights do it say, we the party. Nowhere where anything that they say, we the party. It is we the people, but we the party has taken over and derailed we the people and in, installed uh, 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 the derailment, installed the, the ideology of class people and they put people in classes and that they can't be this and they can't be that. And so uh, he inspired uh, this to happen. And so together we're going to bring the excitement back to the sport and they're going to say, when is the next one? And then they, we right now, this is a comeback fight. Then he says the champion. He says the champion in the, will be five-time champion. No, we're going to unify. Uh, the, that's going to be eight, nine-time champion. Then we're going to take on anybody we want because the one thing they know, that people are going to come to see him. They're going to come to see him, you know what I mean? So that's why we got to make sure that he show up. That's why he's sitting here now talking to you, you know what I mean? So we make sure he show up. You know what I mean? Because he's like the invisible man, you know what I mean? <laughs> Captain Marvel, you know what I mean? So there he is, you know what I mean? Now you see me and now you don't. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we got to be able to demonstrate that working, working together works. And that him and I and Kevin working together under undue circumstances, you know what I mean? That we will rise to the occasion to stand up and be proud Americans and to be able to help the Ukraine uh, to gain their, their to, to maintain not gain, to maintain uh, their freedom, peace, and liberty, you know what I mean, their independence, you know what I mean, their sobriety, you know what I mean, and, the, and, 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 and their prosperity, you know what I mean, so that's why I'm here, and I can't get away, you know what I mean, nor do I want to get away, I'm going on a fight, you know, to death do we part, because when I get called, I'll go home, 
to my Father who's in heaven, you know what I mean? And I would deal with that as real, and I'd be just as happy as a sissy in boys' town with a hot dog in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you with the Palm Beach Post? I am. Oh, okay. All right. And I want to see it all in there. Throw that Palm Beach Post. I love it. You know what I mean? I was out there with them. You know, everybody had to buy the house next door. I bought the house next door. I should have got the other house. You know what I mean? Because I always want to be able to have a guest house for people that can come. You know, those who are heavy laden, those who are downtrodden, those who are denied, you know what I mean? And they can't be able to do it. And when I come out, when I come out, uh, when, uh, when they had the Huff riots in Cleveland, uh, because I was outspoken, they blamed me for the Huff riots. That's the most ridiculous thing in the world. But they don't care, you know what I mean? They try to get anybody that's going to be looking like they're going to do anything that concerns other people. And I'd rather be, have the humility of fighting for you uh, rather than fighting for myself. Because fighting for myself, that's self-aggrandizement. You know what I mean? It's self-aggrandizement, you don't get paid for that. You know, give, every time you give a person this, you give a person that, you ain't got to be out there to get out there to try to win friends and influence people. But what you give, what you do, you got to be able to deal with what is real and, and to work with that. All right, so now I'm back with, the, with the, dealing with that. They put me in the penitentiary, you know, when the person come to me, I, got, I, I always carried my rod, you know what I mean? And I had the, my rod on the, on, the, uh, on, the, uh, on the seat in my car, I never used it. And I argued with, with, the, with, with the police officers, you know what I mean, that were there, you know, at the time, you know what I mean, about we're fighting for justice, we're not fighting for this. So I opened up a nightclub. So the nightclub would be the corner tavern. And we let people come in to be able to, that wouldn't get a chance to see all of the guy, the great musicians that we had, this, you know, the Sonny Stitch and all of the different guys. And we put them there with Lloyd Price and all of them that would be able to play for them and the red carpet, you know what I mean? So people would come from everywhere, you know, to see these, these uh, great musicians and, and the things that they were doing. So therefore, I was able to combine uh, the bringing together of people and, ha and respect and toleration of their culture. And this is why when Trump made it, why he could be coexistent with Kim Jong-un. And Kim Jong-un uh, really was America-inspired because he did it himself. He didn't go out crying, asking, begging, give me some help. He developed a nuclear bomb on his own. You know what I mean? And so they can't do nothing with that when you do it on yourself. And so therefore, he and Trump, they melded together. Putin, with all of the dips, disinformation and the lies and all of the different things, that collusion that was supposed to be with Russia, all proved out to be a lies. And the, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the report that come in with the special prosecutor, wasted all their 30, 40 million, and plus the fact two, three years, and then Everything that uh, 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 Biden does, nobody going to see it. They don't, they don't say nothing about that. Anything that Trump, if he coughed, they want to investigate the cough. Where did it come from? Who, who planned it? Who did it? You know, this is the thing you got to work about. That's that hatred. And that's why, you know, you know that he's the father's thing from what they say about being a uh, 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 racist and the thing that he's fighting for humanity and he's fighting for all the American people and the forgotten people won't be forgotten anymore. So therefore, I carry him with me, you know, and he carries me with him, and we deal with what is real. And so my plate is full, and it, but it stays insatiably hungry for others that will come, that will, may fall, and not be able to be picked up, as uh, what they say in Ecclesiastics or whatever, uh, 9 or 4, 10 say, and when you got somebody that you fall down, and you got somebody that will help, help you get up, you know what I mean, 2 is better than 1, say, for your labor, you know what I mean? So. The double D, that's the Trump and me, you know what I mean? So we deal with it, you know, for the betterment of America. And he helps us to do that because from, it gets to the, the, the what you call it, the, the, the ground level. You know what I mean? You get down to the people, you know what I mean? They can't read or write, but they know how to, they get the excitement, they get the feeling, you know what I mean? And so the unwritten epithet that goes there that he brings back to the table again and now, and to bring all these other ingredients in there and meld them together so they work together and working together works, it makes everything uh, uh, workable. You know what I mean? So all we got to do is to get rid of some of these lying politicians, you know what I mean, and be able to make it or make them fulfill 
uh, their promise and their oath. You know what I mean? You know, you know, one land indivisible with liberty and justice for all. You know, not me, you know, not you. What this shit? Your toenail ain't right. You can't be there, you know, for all Americans. And so we got to help the Ukraine to win that victory because we don't want what President John F. Kennedy warned us about in 1963 at the speech for the, in American University, you know, that you got to be able to deal with what is real. Don't get in no, no kind of confrontation uh, with a former or adversary uh, nuclear or, or power because, you know, it puts you in a position that either you have a humiliating uh, retreat or you have to result to that nuclear power. And so what we got Putin doing now, he's, he's trying to set it up, you know, stuff, this amateur stuff that we did in the blacks, you know, a thousand years ago. Because what he is trying to do is to set up where he, he throw the rock and hide his hand and then when the rock come around, oh, where does this come from? Oh, we can't have this, you know what I mean? Because he's losing the Russian people. The people themselves, they're losing their people because they are getting killed too because of these uh, courageous and brave and bold uh, Ukrainian uh, uh, servicemen. And then they unify it with uh, with uh, 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 V. Uh, Zelensky, the president, he unified him. And he unified him. It's, it's a terrific situation that nobody believes. It's shockingly amazing uh, the retaliation and the, uh, the, the exploitation of, of fighting back, you know what I mean, and being seen, heard, and felt uh, by these uh, Ukrainian uh, 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 patriots that resolve that they will be rather freedom and peace or death. And that's what the motto is from uh, Zelensky. And we have to work with him and give him the equipment. He said, he don't want no soldiers on the ground. He don't need that. Just give us the material to fight. And what, 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 what Biden was doing was giving us uh, what he don't, he don't think that nobody understands. He was giving us Civil War equipment to fight against the Russian a uh, 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 modern equipment and superpower, you know what I mean? And so, so, so you know, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's weird, but this is the game that they play, you know what I mean? So, but, and then here we go, ingullibly, uh putting all of our votes in mass, you know, just go to the Democrats, just in mass, don't have to pay, no, no conditions, no nothing, you know what I mean? Just get them votes there, you know what I mean? So, the, so we talk about the pimp game. There ain't nobody been a better pimp than the Democrats, but. With the, with this here, man. I'm telling you, they got the hose that's going all the way down the line and the money on the dresser. Forget about the money on the dresser. You know, you got it all, baby. You got it all. Here we are, you know, and we don't get no return. And so this is what's so dangerous for all of us uh, who are the less fortunate, the downtrodden, and the denied. You know what I mean? So, hey, we got to keep on fighting. And we're going to keep on fighting, and we're going to get the excitement and the platform uh, with this young man here who is just beginning. You know what I mean? This is, this is, this, when they had John Paul Jones and they hollered, do you surrender, do you surrender? You have not yet begun to fight. Hot damn, we're going to take it over. In West Palm Beach, I want that post to be out there glowing. You know what I mean? With freedom, justice, equality. That's what we're fighting for. You know, liberty, sovereignty, prosperity. Yes. You know, so we can do it. And that winning ticket would be Trump president and DeSantis vice president. Unbeatable. Unbeatable, so they're trying to fight from each other from before when Trump had to endorse uh, DeSantis uh, 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 because we knew that nobody knew him, and so we worked for DeSantis to be able to be known. Secondly, uh, that lady, uh, Nikki, 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 what's her name? Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley. Tremendous, tremendous woman fighting for not only for womanhood and whatever, but she would not be able to get the championship of the. Uh, uh, presidency, but she could be the second choice for vice presidency, Trump and Nikki Haley. You know what I mean? And now, you know, so those are two tickets. One is unbe undeniably unbeatable. Nothing can beat uh, uh, Trump and uh, President and DeSantis, uh, vice president. And then DeSantis will learn how to be the, what he wants to be, the politician he needs to be, because DeSantis is a unifier, you know what I mean? But he don't have the experience and he don't know the he don't have the exposure that, that uh, he's getting more exposure now talking about if, if he's going to run than he would ever got before. 
but he did in the crisis of the of the storm when the God-given crisis came. You know, he brought everybody together, including uh, Biden and everybody else. You know what I mean? He, you know, he, he he put them all together. You know what I mean? To try to help the people in the state of Florida. All right. So now we got to use that. And so so, but Nikki Haley, you know what I mean? She would be a delightful uh, 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 vice president. And then after that, either one of them could be president. They got two terms after being vice president and learning how to play the game in the way Trump plays the game. That's what calling them out, identifying them. You know what I mean? Not sneaking in the closet and hiding and throwing a rock and hiding your hand and tell a lie and then when the lie come around, I can't believe this. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. You don't want to plan to lie. You know what I mean? That's what educated me with Lonesome Bob. Lonesome Bob would be able to put in, that's Bob Aaron. Lonesome Bob would be able to tell a lie and do things and prognosticate what's going to be the future. What's his name? And I had to be able to be sharp to be able to catch up with that. Don. So that Don. helped me. What's his name, Don? Lonesome Bob. <laughs> Why you call him Lonesome Bob? Because he's all by himself. <laughs> he don't know it. You know what I mean? He runs people away rather than bring people in. You know what I mean? He's a good guy. He, you know, he was, he was a prosecutor, a Kennedy Raider. You know, he was out there doing everything that would put you in jail, not get you out of jail. And then he got Muhammad Ali uh, to, you know, go along with him. Uh, but when I beat him out with Muhammad Ali, uh, you know, uh, then from one thing to another, I learned him. I knew that when he said, because he'll throw, he'll make the plan, tell the most, uh, uh, the biggest lie I've known, a gigantic lie, and don't know nothing about it, and he sit back and wait, and when it explodes all around it, I can't believe this. And then he go out, solve this, you know what I mean? He go out to go, and he'd be the one that's laid it out there. So I, that taught me to be able to prognosticate, predict, look forward to the future, what it's going to be, estimation, decline, or approve what it's going to be. So, I mean, it pushed me right to the top, the top of the list. And so they, then they tried to go on, well, we assassinated him. Well, then that would make me even bigger. So if they assassinated Trump, it would have another civil war. So they couldn't afford to do that, you know what I mean? And so then, in order to ensure that he be safe, he appoints a black woman for president, vice president. All right, so he brought a black president. That's a double whammy to keep him safe because they don't want no woman to be president, especially a black woman. You know what I mean? And so therefore, that he got the fear of all of the prejudice there that with this black woman being there. So that ensured that they can, he could do what he want to do. And they can't do nothing about it because if they mess around, you're going to have this, this, this end, you know, for your, for your presidency. Oh. You know what I mean? And, 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 uh, and so you got to be able to deal with it. You know what I mean? And so, you know, so she, he's got to save God. But he's planning to the hill. He's planning to the hill. But he's been hey, from 1977. He's been in a closet. He's been a closet guy, you know, go, goes in and plays all ends against the middle. So therefore, then knowing this here, you know, I gotta be able to work and keep fighting. And you know, cause I know how he's playing my gullible people cause we believe anything. Promises anything, you know, we give us nothing. You know what I mean? So Trump promises made, promises kept. We had to, uh, we were building the wall. And all that money for the wall, we bought three quarters of the wall was done. And we throw that away. And then leave Afghanistan, he leaves a billion dollar worth of, of equipment that, that, that he left there for uh, the Taliban. When they took over, they got all that American uh, equipment that we got sophisticated equipment, bombs and drones and, 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 and bullets and, 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 and bombs and airplanes or whatever we got uh, for strategy uh, for uh, winning, uh, he, they inherited you know, for nothing. Because of well, because of Joe Biden, you know what I mean. So we got to be able to check that message out to friend and for like, whether they believe it or don't believe it. Just watch the clock, let it keep ticking. You know what I mean. You know they demonstrate and they demonstrate and show what time it is. But what we're doing is giving you the opportunity through the world of sports, as in sports diplomacy, as they would say. You know what I mean. To be able to bring out the world of existence. You know, religiously, economically, you know, the survival of the fittest, you know what I mean? And be able to do that. And who could be better to do that than a problem like this guy? You know what I mean? You got to have a problem you're going to be able to solve that everybody recognizes that as a problem. You know what I mean? But really what it is, is an instigator. It's not a problem. It's an initiator, you know what I mean, to go out and get to the problem. And the real problem is us disliking each other. 
the most stupidest thing in the world. We're all getting kicked in the ass, and we're just liking each other. You know, you know, it don't make no kind of sense. We got to unify. You know, we got to be each all, each for all, and all for each. You know what I mean? Then you got some, you got some going that can't beat you when you're unified. And that's why when we go to war, they let us all come in, you know, and they fight because we're unbeatable. But as soon as we get out of war, you know, when the black man come back with his uniform on his stars and stripes and his buttons and shit, don't mean nothing. You know what I mean? He's still a brother, you know, and not with another mother. You know what I mean? So he's dead right there. Don't going to be kicked dead in the ass. You know what I mean? Lynched on the goddamn telephone pole. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, so you got to be able to understand that. That's why we're fighting. And that's why I'm here and I welcome him here. And I welcome Kevin and keep, you know, giving him a dose, a dose of truth. You know what I mean? Because you need that, you know what I mean, in order to resolve and get his heart to beat and right and blood to flow through the veins, you know what I mean? That you got to rise up and, and stand up and fight. You know what I mean? And then be humble enough to let you know that he did wrong when he didn't show, but he gonna show on Friday on Friday night in June the 9th. And he's gonna give you a lesson on what it is to be tenacious, steadfast, you know what I mean, hard driven. You know what I mean? And demonstrate what can really happen when you put it all on the table there and put it together and go out there and demonstrate to the world what you can do. You know what I mean? And so, hey, the cook is here. The, the dish is there. You know what I mean? Eat them. So we're going to have a dish that's going to be unbeatable. You know what I mean? It's going to be super sensational. And then we want to go out and get five or six more champions. You know what I mean? Then it's time for him to go and maybe the Lord will give me a break and take me home. Hey, you're gonna be going 100 miles an hour when you're 91 like this. Um, he's uh, <laughs> he's he's definitely uh, encouraging me to. <laughs> uh, I haven't reached that age yet, but uh, once I get that age, I want to know how I'm gonna go, and um, I think I want to go just like him. Well, age is just a number, you know what I mean, and man is unlisted. Cause I I, I I tell you myself, I thought I'd be going my prediction. I thought I'd be going to 50, because I was challenging all of the boys, Scalish, you know, Danny Green. I was challenging all of them, you know what I mean? And uh, and, and they were taking guys out like, you know, Shonda Burns, Alex Shonda Burns, all the people, the gangsters, the real gangsters, and, uh, and, and they were taking them out, you know what I mean? And, uh, and I'm still here. You had beef with Danny Green? Yeah, Danny Green was, uh, was the, well, he got paid to, to knock me off. And Shonda Burns had to come in and, and block it because they had to go through the category of the foreign orders, you know. When you get a knockoff or whack, they call it a whack, you got to go find out if everybody's clear and And so uh, when he found out Danny Green was uh, was going to try to, you know, hop in hard to whack me, uh, he, he blocked it. He blocked it, you know what I mean? So, but then after that, Danny Green and him had war, and Danny Green is who took him out, but they, they had to plan and put the car next to another car and put the bombs in the car, and they and they blew up my man, Shonda Burns. You know what I mean? And uh, and uh, that's how they got uh, they got rid of him. You know what I mean? But I was right there in the heat of the night. You know what I mean? It wasn't wasn't no it wasn't no 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 play the game. Mm. You got some questions? Anybody? Yeah, I got questions. Uh, for Dona, what's changed in the last few months in this training camp to the last the last couple of years or few years of going on and off? trying to make fights happen in and out of training and stuff. Have, has, it, uh, has it been rough on you? Can you no, it's never been rough on me. It's been rough on the, on the public. And, it ain't been, and he ain't fought in two years, so it'd be rough on him because greed and avarice. Greed and avarice, you know, wanting something for nothing. And there ain't no free lunch. You know what I mean? And they don't want to work like we're doing right now and go in and then being, have the recall ability to be able to tell you what it is and dot tell what it is, date, time, whatever, or you can go back and check it out from any one of the wiki kikis or whatever, or whatever it is, all the new technology that they got, you know what I mean? So they can deal with it, because there ain't nothing new. It's all just a repetition, you know what I mean? It's just how they're going to play the cards and when they're going to play the cards. Well, I play the cards that we dealt. He played the cards that he's dealt, you know what I mean? Whatever it is, we deal with it, you know what I mean? So now he's ready to go out there and shine, and I'm, I'm ready to put the spotlight on him so he can really get the, really get the good glitter. Like you mentioned, Nate Diaz in the last couple of years. You now said he's, now he's boxing. Uh, I mean, you know, uh, um, like I said before, you know, I ain't worrying about nobody else but but Hutchinson. And uh, after that, we can we can do whatever the fuck we want. But, but right now, I'm I'm worrying about 
handling my business j June 9th against Hutchinson. So, uh, Fight Hype wants to know, you obviously want to win, but do you want to make, like, a statement? Uh, of course, you know, uh, you know, that's any boxer, you know, uh, any boxer don't just want a, a regular win, you know, um, that's why I'm preparing so tough and, and that's why I'm working so hard so I can go in there and give, give, give the fans, you know, uh, something they ain't seen in a while for me. So, you know, uh, June 9th, uh, just be there. Like, so what did you think about Tank Davis knocking Ryan out and do you take pride in knowing how far he's come with your assistance? I mean, of course, you know, uh, I called it. I called it. I said, I said it wouldn't go eight rounds. And um, he went out there and he was sharp and he did what he had to do. All right, that's the questions I have. Anybody else? Can I ask a question? Yeah. Uh, I was going to ask this one earlier, because um, like, you were talking about Joe Biden and stuff. So, um, um, so I know you were saying Joe ba Biden lacks leadership and how you support Donald Trump, but would you agree that politics divide the people, especially in 2023? Like it makes us go against each other instead of being unified, how you were saying we need to be unified? Yeah, politics is a divisive thing because they put we the party above we the people. When the nation was conceived, a new nation under God, conceived in liberty, and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Or it don't say, you know, we the people. It don't say we the party. You know what I mean? And so what you got with um, from Joe Biden uh, from the time in 1977 uh, when he was making uh, pleasant remarks about uh, uh, the Mississippi senator, you know, Eastwood. Eastwood, just the Mississippi senator, you know, hates, hates blacks with a passion. You know what I mean? He hates blacks with a passion, and, and they call him son. They call Joe Biden son, you know what I mean? And, and he's papa to, 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 to Joe Biden. And, uh, and he introduced the bill, uh, uh, he introduced the bill uh, to stop the, the desegregation of the buses, uh, 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 of the thing, the desegregation uh, bill and uh, uh, for, uh, uh, for, Bi for Biden's desegregation uh, 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 bill to stop the busting, whatever it is, he was against it. He was for segregation. You know, at the same time, he's whistling out of both sides of his mouth. You know what I mean? That, uh, that he was, you know, he wanted to do something for the blacks. You know, yeah, bury them. You know what I mean? So this is why you can look at the record. And from these records that didn't have been being vice president for uh, uh, two terms with, uh, with Obama, you know what I mean? But you got to understand that everything he does, you know, he, he singles out one incident that will be glaring, and he sticks with that incident, but that's what you call throw a rock and add your hand. That's what Putin is trying to do now yeah, with, the, with, the, with the Ukraine. So he's trying now uh, to program where he would be tolerated and in the court of public opinion, it would be considered as an act of war rather than a humiliation act of slaughtering human beings genocidally. You know what I mean? So what they're doing is he's taking a lesson from uh, of what Putin's experience is taking a lesson from uh, Biden. You know what I mean? Because Biden's weak leadership, his weak leadership, you know what I mean? that he, in, in, in no retaliation, everything that Trump wrote, inaugurated, everything, every bill that he signed, every executive order that he signed, everything, the first act of this man, instead of talking about upward mobility and elevation of our people and unifying our people, which he had prognosticated and predicted when he was campaigning, uh, it, he put all that aside. He canceled, he canceled the, uh, the building of the wall, after all the millions and millions and billions has been spent on the building of three, three fourths of the wall, going in for the finishing touches, he canceled it. He canceled everything that had Trump's name associated with it, because the hatred to Trump uh, overruled over, overruled anything that uh, would, would 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 be helpful. So when you say with the with the uh, with the uh, with the Biden touch, you know what I mean? It was like you know. Uh, what Kennedy would say is, uh, uh, he would say that uh, 
uh, the Biden church to say, it, it shows you the failure of our policy or a collective death wish for the world. All right, so, so this is why you said you got, you can't, you had the humiliating retreat or going to uh, the uh, nuclear uh, thing. Well, look at what Putin is saying now. He's been arguing and, and commenting about nuclear. And then here comes, here comes this weak man that's been weak all along talking about Armageddon. You know, he said, and we're going to have Armageddon. You know, he's talking stronger uh, uh, against what Putin does than he did any kind of other way. That's not the most to aggravate, agitate, and to explode divisiveness. You know, because he get he got what Putin says. Uh, what he says, he says, no, whatever whatever Putin does to us, we're going to deal right back to him. He should, he should have been doing that in Af Afghanistan. You know what I mean? You know, we're not going to do this because Trump had got the reliable situation with the, with the Mexicans and the Canadian allies, you know, that all this immigration thing, that got chaos that they got, uh, would be against, uh, it would be for divisiveness, not for unification. All right, so uh, now uh, he opens the door and counteracts everything that you say you got a crisis. He said, ain't no crisis yet. We can look with our own eyes and see all these thousands and hundreds of thousands of people coming across that, that, that border. But they feel that yeah, he, he can, can tell them uh, to, to vote, vote for him. him. That's, That's what it's really all about. And they're going to put out you in the country. You couldn't even been in the country. Don't be for me. Because they're making and working that around to get so he can be a shoe-in. And now they're arguing about the, uh, the age of him. But that's one of the other reasons why he picked uh, Kamala Harris because she was the damaging one of the little school girl that said that she was being humiliated uh, and couldn't get on the bus and couldn't get there because of Joe Biden. So he got to shut her mouth. He don't want her to be talking. So he make her vice president, and that shuts her mouth. You know, and then she becomes, you know, uh, you know, a laugher. You know, the best laugher in the world. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So because she was a threat to him uh, being a, a, a president. And so therefore, uh, Kamala Harris, you know, uh, he shut her mouth on that end. And then after shutting her mouth on that end, because she's a very smart woman, she ain't no dummy like they think that she is. You know what I mean? But he knows that the prejudice from the hate ideology of white supremacy uh, will not allow anything to happen to, 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 to to uh, uh, this guy, uh, Biden, because you're gonna have a black woman. You know, when, when Hillary was running for the, for the thing, there, and she was tough, and she was straightforward, but she couldn't get in, she being a white woman, and then you're gonna have a black woman. Yeah, something happened to this guy, and so he didn't happen in this thing if it don't go in, in the next two years or whatever it's gonna be. By 2024, if he gets elected again, 99 times out of 100, Something gonna happen to him between from natural things. It's gonna happen to him before his term is out. Boop, and now you got a black woman as president. That they can't have that. That's that's completely against the essence of what white supremacy stands for. You know what I mean? So therefore, you know, he's got a. But that was him thinking ahead to make the to, to ensure a non-assassination. You know what I mean? So that's what it is with that. So you got to deal with the, what what is real, you know what I mean? But she's the one that spotlighted him about being uh, a closet racist, you know, not me. You know, this is Kamala Harris, you know what I mean? Because she said just like it was, he was fighting against uh, 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 bringing together the people, you know what I mean? And was, was standing up for uh, isolation and segregation, separatism, you know? So this is what you got to deal with, man. You got to. You got to be able to go beyond. Uh, it's a lot of room between the cup and the lip, so you got to go beyond what these things that they're telling you, because what they promise you, oh, we didn't get it this time, but we get them next time. Well, well, let's just get ready. You know, every every election period, here they come with the same old bullshit. You know, we didn't get it this time, but we're gonna fight now. We ain't gonna stop. We are gonna get it next time. You know, but what is it? What is you gonna get next time? You know what I mean? You ain't got nothing. You know what I mean? So therefore, we got to fight, and we got to use all of the sports and whatever else we got to deal with and make it real. And that's what we're going to do. And that's why God has put us together. You know what I mean? To to 
uh, uh, work together, pray together, stay together, and succeed together. And that's why he gave those golden questions coming from the Palm Beach Post, you know what I mean, that would, be, would emulate and imitate what freedom and justice and equality, you know, and sovereignty, you know, all, all those things that we would be thinking about with a boxing glove, you know what I mean? So we can't teach you about ABC, we can teach you with the, with the left hand hook and right uppercut. We can teach you with that, we get your attention. You know, and then you can put the words into the, in that attention that I mean, make you understand that it ain't nothing about you that's wrong except that you're black. You know what I mean? And so you can't erase that. You can't get around, you can't change that. So therefore, you got your handicap. And when you're handicapped, you know what I mean? You got to be able to deal with what is real. So what I do is I just deal with that. I welcome blackness. I'm proud to be black. I'm proud to be an American who incidentally happens to be black. That's all. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't feel sorry for myself. You know what I mean? I'm like, we got to make, make a change. And that's why no one, no one has said anything uh, close to we will create a whole new system. That comment is, uh, is resonating in the hearts of the people. We will create a whole new system. We will take this system apart. You know, I want to make America great again. America first. So he's bringing the reality there because we've been paying the bills for everybody to buy the influence. You know, we did, none of them was paying the equal share of all of these things that would be cost-worthy uh, for freedom, uni unity, togetherness. We, we was, America was eating it, but they were doing it for the reason to be able to control, influentially control. You know what I mean? We supporting you. We ain't arguing about he bought, he bought it all out. You know, we ain't going to pay for you. You got to pay for yourself. You know what I mean? America first. I'm going to take care of America. You got to take care of uh, Germany. You got to take care of Poland. You got to take care of Yugoslavia. You know what I mean? I'm not paying that. In the meantime, we got to go out there and work together, you know what I mean, to make it happen. Because this is what they're doing to us. You know what I mean? They don't like that. So therefore, they hate who everybody else is calling the white supremacists. I mean, it's so ridiculous, but you know, but they don't think and they don't get the right education. So now we get a platform with, uh, with my man here uh, uh, that can do it, you know what I mean? And so we have the indomitable courage and an invincible spirit to pursue those things that they said we wouldn't do, you know, fighting for freedom, justice, and equality. And that's why I put that paper out there where we got Zelensky and you let Nelson Mandela, who was fighting with Bush, and I put together uh, the combination that made, made him come, come together, together and, 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 uh, and Nelson speaks in his own words, you know what I mean? that you know that he, we, we, America's the most powerful nation in the world. He can't afford to be at odds with them. And so therefore, he got to be able to support uh, Bush that he didn't, that he did, wasn't doing. He had criticized Bush. He said, but he got to support Bush and, uh, and make things happen. Well, that's put it in his words, not in mine, so that when it comes, you know, we are considered, we all lie, cheat, and steal. We are shiftless, worthless, and no account. That's the, that's the repetition that blacks hold inherently and inherently. You know what I mean? No matter what you do or how you do it, you know what I mean? And so you've got to be able to deal with that, you know what I mean? So you, you all lie, cheat, and steal, and you know, in, uh, in, in, in you're shiftless, worthless, and no account. So you've got to be accountable and responsible. You've got to be able to take, assume the responsibility, you know what I mean, and fight for your country and fight for your country's people. And that's what we want to do. Adrian, so uh, has Kevin brought anything new to your training? You doing any new things you haven't done before? Um, when, when it comes we ain't really, we ain't really new. <laughs> just, okay. That's how I just, I just, just going to get into that. Yeah, <laughs> this ain't, this ain't nothing new. <laughs> we, we've been working together. Shit, he cussed me out every day. That's new. <laughs> he gave me a new cuss out every day. <laughs> but, but you know, uh, that's uncle. That's my uncle, and uh, we got an understanding. That's what we call it. <laughs> we got an understanding, and um, we working hard. In uh, January, I mean June 9th, uh, we're gonna put on a show. I hear you've been out on the beach. You doing some running out there and stuff? Yeah. Uh, 
like I said, man, you know, uh, we've been working hard, man. You know, um, and um, this we'll be putting out videos soon, you know. But you know, uh, we just gonna keep working. And um, June 9th, I hope don't nobody miss it. All right, Kevin, what do you got to add? How's training camp going? Training camp's going good, and uh, you know we're bringing it down the stretch. The last four weeks, we coming down pretty hard. The last four weeks, and getting them to that real sharp enough stage so he can peak right at the right time. And, you know, weight is you know where he needs to be at this point. You know, and so everything's going the way it needs to go. So. It'll be ready June 9th, you know, be a great show. So like I said, everybody come on down to Miami, you know, enjoy the fight, and have a great time. Pink the lies on now. All right. That's all we got. Any more questions, anybody? Okay. Thanks for joining us. All right. Thank, they, thank you very much for coming. And it's really, really a pleasure. It was a light for me, a thrill beyond recognition in depiction. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.